Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Pisces with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see how you are showing up to the reading. Okay, the Five of Swords, uh, the Four of Cups, and the Three of Wands. So tough energy. Um, you feel like something is reversing. You could even feel like you're being rejected in some fashion. Um, you you could be weary about what the future holds like someone's shifting or changing their mind about partnership maybe even leaving you out there's regret here you don't know if something is or isn't um you're in a real tough place like you don't know if um if you if it's on or if it's off maybe with a relationship yeah you got three fives coming out now so it is temporary energy you can get out of it but you guys have to work to get out of this, to make change um, and get through the tough times within a, a connection here. All right, let's see how a person that you're coming to the reading for, how they feel about you, Pisces. How does this person feel about Pisces? Uh, the two of swords. Okay, so they feel like uh, it's best to not make a decision on this right now. It's, it's best to walk away because it's too much of you know, a struggle, a tug of war. Um, we need to have a plan once we do come back. They could also feel like there's something that um, they don't know, seven of swords. So they feel like um, whatever this is, it brings, them, it brings them a lot of anxiety. Like they overthink, they, um, they, they can't stop thinking about this thing. You know, something that you've done, said, or whatever has happened between the two of you, it, it uh, causes them to, um, they don't have any rest in the relationship. They don't have any confidence also in the connection. Yeah, the Nine of Cups, this person could, um, this could be somebody you're sneaking around with. Maybe it's just a sex only connection or this is what has happened. Yeah. Someone uses the guise of friendship and family to go, you know, meet other people or meet another person, yep. The Knight of Wands. It's like someone says, okay, I'm going to go travel and meet my family and my friends. And when they do that, they go and hook up with someone or they date or they flirt or they go to the bar or something of that nature where it just causes um, your partner to go to a place of anxiety. Like, I don't know, something has already happened here. Like maybe somebody has already been uh, not faithful, um, you know, told lies. And so there's a level of distrust here. What is the advice for Pisces? What is the advice for Pisces? Advice for Pisces. Okay, Knight of Swords. Um, so you need to state your truth. You know, you need to you need to speak. What is the advice? A uh, temperance card. You know, take the middle ground. Like state your truth, but don't go overboard. Do keep in mind that there's a lot going on and things are still up in the air. Um, the devil card also. Um, be careful. Tread lightly. This could even indicate you know, like somebody is still obsessed with or still thinking about or still wanting a family with somebody from their past or their, a mother of or mother figure or someone isn't over. Somebody has mother issues or mom issues or somebody's extremely spoiled or it's just um, a level of toxicity, unhealthy energy between you and someone else. Um, maybe somebody has spoiled someone here to the point where they, they're used to getting everything that they want. But now someone could be saying no, creating or putting up boundaries, making this person uh, compete or fight for or show their worth. Yeah. So one feels like somebody's not mature enough to have a long term with. It's going to be hard to make something real with this person is how either you feel or the other person feels. There could be a mistress type of energy going on here or there's somebody else. So this and there is someone who's married and they do have a mistress here and they go and, you know, see their person causes conflict at home, but they don't care. You know, they feel like it's temporary. This is what they want to do. 
when they when somebody leaves Pisces, it makes you feel extremely low, sad, depressed. You feel like the attention, the uh, time spent is temporary, and like you're tired of being in like this cheating type scandalous, scandalous energy, being the other woman. You feel like it's all gonna fall apart one day. And you feel like you want to walk away sometimes, but you feel like something could possibly change between the two of you. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your own reading there, ask a question or two by texting it. Nope, don't text. I don't got to get this number pouring it over. Go to the website and book your one question, one answer via the website. Um, also catch me live tonight, Monday. Uh, I am typically live Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But I will be live tonight, Monday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.